There we go, we are live. And we will be measuring the thrust of the race cuff propeller. We just got these race cuff propellers in. As you can see, these are very nicely crafted. They stand a little bit higher up, have a little bit thicker uh, hub and a very fine tip. And the whole idea around this is that these propellers were actually designed for performance. So we are going to put this on the trust meter today. These propellers just came in and we are going to uh, compare it with the DAO 545s. So right now I have the DAO 545 installed on my trust meter here. And uh, I'm going to put these away. I have two battery is fully charged and I'm going to use one for each test so let me move this a little bit further out on the side here like that so you get a better view I will connect the battery and uh, we turn on the trust meter as well so we can see the battery gives us about 16.5 volts let me switch to the consumption which is gonna show the amps used this is going to give us the thrust how many grams and right now we are running the DAW prop 545 and as you can see it's 7 to 17 amps 18 amps almost 700 gram thrust 650 and 80 grams all right, so we've got, if you couldn't hear me there, we've got 18 amps loads between 17 and 18 amps load and about 650 grams stressed out of the uh, DAPROP uh, 545s. So let me disconnect the battery so I don't kill myself with it and quickly replace the propeller. Uh, There we go. We put the racecraft on. If you look at the racecraft, the way it stands, and if I just spin it by hand here, you can see that actually it stands a little bit further out, so it's higher up. Anyway. Let's just uh, look. Yeah, hurry up. Hey, <laughs> thanks, Luke. Now, where is which one I used before? This one I used. So, I'm going to put this one on. Connect the battery. So, we have 16.5 volts on the battery. Again, it's a brand new battery. Let me just switch over to amps and let's see what's the trust on this one. As you can see, definitely pulls about 18 to 19 amps and a little bit lower thrust vector than the other one. The other one gave us about 650 grams. This comes up to around 600 grams. However, there is one noticeable thing. It's way quieter than the other one. So I believe that this propeller is actually better, performing better than the other one. So let's try this again. <laughs> I think this battery is holding very well. Let me switch back to the other one one sec. Okay. There, and my RPM meter just woke up. Look at that. <laughs> Funny. All right, so switch to amps here. Let's dial it up. 17,000 RPM, 600 grams. You get the same thing. All right, well, I guess, guys, you get your uh, answer here to see if this behaves very better than the other one. It's definitely a quieter, a more performant propeller. 
we get about 18,000 RPM out of that, but it's also using about 20 amps on the, on the highest throttle level, so versus the 18 amps on the other one. Definitely the profile of this propeller is such that, you see, it's cutting way more into the air than the other one. Compare it just the, with the other one as I put them side by side, right? So this one definitely bites a lot more into the air as the other one. All right, thank you for watching. Gentle ladies and gentlemen, it was tonight's show. Shop is closed. See you tomorrow for your racecraft propellers. Bye-bye.